Hello everyone. Now we are going to see about the quantum numbers. Now what is quantum numbers? Quantum numbers are the set of numbers which gives the detailed information of an atom. That means whenever we are seeing atom, the only things comes in our mind is that atom, nucleus, protons, neutrons, electrons and all. But other than those things, some of the things also comes in our mind that shells, subshells, orbitals. This all the entire information can be given by this set of a numbers. So what is quantum number? Quantum number are the set of numbers. These are the set of numbers. There are four quantum numbers. Previously there were only three quantum numbers. That is principal quantum number, azimuthal quantum number, magnetic quantum number. But now we are having the fourth one also with the set that is the spin quantum number. So now we are having this all the four set of quantum numbers which are giving detailed information of that particular atom. How it comes? Let us see. The principal quantum number <coughs> denoted by small n and this gives the information about shells. Principal quantum number, as we said earlier, denoted by small n and gives the information of shells. What are the shells? Definitely, the circular path around the nucleus is called as shells. Suppose, if we are considering this is a nucleus, so these are the shells. Shell number 1, shell number 2, shell number 3 and so on. As the principal quantum number is given information about shells so we can also say that this n has the value 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. That means whenever we are saying the principal quantum number has a value 3 that means we are talking about third shell. Whenever we are saying the principal quantum number is 1 that means we are talking about the first shell. Like that, the principal quantum number can be used for the knowing the position of electron in a shell. Now, let us move towards the azimuthal quantum number. Azimuthal quantum number can denote by small l. Now, these azimuthal quantum numbers can use the information of As we are moving from principal, azimuthal, magnetic and spin quantum number. So what is happening? Previously the principal quantum number was given information about shells. Now this is the next part of the quantum number. That means we can move further inside of an atom. So what is the inside of shells? Yes, subshell. So principal quantum numbers are giving information of shells so obviously azimuthal quantum numbers are giving information of subshells that means inner part of the shell as the principal quantum numbers notation was small n so azimuthal quantum numbers notation is small l now we know there are some kind of subshells that is s p d f and so on so for this subshell l has some kind of values that means l has a value 0 1 2 3 and etc that means whenever we are saying l is equals to 0 that means we are talking about s subshell whenever we are saying l is equals to 1 so we are talking about p subshell whenever we are talking about d so l is equals to 2 like that we can use this azimuthal quantum number. I repeat the principal quantum number can use the information of shells and the azimuthal quantum number can use the information about subshells. Do not mix these two concepts with, e with each other. Why? Because the shells and subshells are the very much different thing. Subshells are the integral part of the shells and shells are nothing but a circular orbit around the nucleus. As we are saying shells are 1, 2, 3, 4, so they are subdividing into subshells that is SPDF. For that sake we can use this azimuthal quantum number that is small l.
Now let us we move towards the next quantum number that is magnetic quantum number. Now as we are moving further shells classified into subshell. So then subshells can classify into what? Yes definitely subshells can classify into orbitals. That means magnetic quantum numbers are giving information about orbitals of those particular atoms. Now this magnetic quantum numbers are denoting by a symbol small m and it also has some kind of values that is plus infinity to minus infinity. Now why are we using this plus infinity to minus infinity as a value for this small m? Previously we were using the value of n 1 2 3 4 etc for small l 0 1 2 3 4 etc but now we are using here a minus infinity and plus infinity why not there is a fixed number we can also take an example for the clearance of this topic just consider whenever we are having s subshell so how many orbitals are there only one in case of p subshell how many orbitals are there three in case of d subshell how many orbitals are there five and in case of F subshell, how many orbitals are there? 7. So, like that, we can always take a 0 at the central part. That means P subshell is having 3 orbitals. The first one, that is the middle one, is called as 0, like this one. As we are assuming the values of magnetic quantum number minus infinity to plus infinity that means obviously at the center there is a zero so the center one is a zero now whenever we are moving this side so the values are minus whenever we are moving to this side the values are positive like that so zero then here it is minus one and here it is plus one again for d the center one is the zero here is the plus one here is the plus 2. Here is the minus 1. Here is the minus 2. Now in this case obviously here it is 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 and minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 like that. But in case of S subshell it is having only one orbital. So how can we make the arrangement of these numbers as it is only one So take the central number that is 0. That means whenever we are having these kind of values of magnetic quantum numbers we can easily predict what kind of orbitals are we talking about for example suppose if we have a values of m from plus 3 to minus 3 so obviously which is one is having values of minus 3 to plus 3 it is f subshell whenever we are having values of plus 1 to minus 1. So which orbital supposed to have these values? Obviously it is P subshell. So like that we can assume that what kind of orbitals are present and how many orbitals are present in that particular part of an atom just by using this magnetic quantum number. Now next one is the spin quantum number. As we are seeing the shells then subshell then orbitals that means we are moving towards inside of an atom previously the shells we are moving inside subshell we are moving inside orbitals now inside the orbital is there anything yes what is it there are electrons so obviously this spin quantum number is giving information of electrons only same as to the principal azimuthal and magnetic quantum number the spin quantum number also has some kind of notation that is s this s has only two values s is equals to plus half and s is equals to minus half now what is the meaning of this plus half and minus half whenever we say that s is equals to plus half that means the electron is ascending Whenever we are saying S is equals to minus R, so electron is descending. Ascending stands for the electrons is, electron is revolving around the nucleus in clockwise direction. And descending stands for the electrons are revolving around the nucleus in anti-clockwise direction. So whenever this plus and minus 
sines of the spin quantum number get merged to each other they can form a pair of an electron like that we can say that the electron is whether paired up or not whether it is ascending or not whether it is moving in clockwise direction or in anti-clockwise direction by using the spin quantum number so let us we quick revise this all the quantum numbers previously we are saying that the principal quantum number azimuthal quantum number and magnetic quantum number these three are the quantum numbers with us but now we are having four set of quantum numbers that is principal quantum number azimuthal quantum number magnetic quantum number and spin quantum number so all these four set of quantum numbers give the information of detailed information of an atom how the principal quantum number is denoted by small n which gives the information of shells that means which kind of shells are we talking about at that moment and this small n has the values that is 1 2 3 4 etc in case of azimuthal quantum number it is denoted by a letter small l which gives the information of subshells we are having subshells like s p d f g h and so on and this L has a values that is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. So that means whenever we are saying S, L is equals to 0, that means we are talking about S, L is equals to 3, that means we are talking about F like that. The next one is the magnetic quantum number, which is denoted by a letter small m, which gives the information of orbitals and it has a value of plus infinity to minus infinity so whenever we are having a set of subshells which are having increasing order of the orbitals so always take a zero at the center of the orbital and move in positive signs at this direction and move in negative sign in this direction that means in case of p subshells there are three orbitals so zero at the center here it is a plus one here it is a minus one like that in f subshell there are the six there are the seven orbitals the center one is the zero here is the plus one plus two plus three here it is a minus one minus two minus three like that the next and last is the spin quantum number which is denoted by a letter small s which gives the information of electron this s has only two values plus half and minus half plus half stands for ascending electron that means rotating in clockwise direction minus half means descending electron that means electrons are revolving in anti-clockwise direction so these all the information is given by this set of four numbers that is called as quantum numbers so this is what about the quantum numbers thank you